Thomas and Friends. It has 24 seasons with a bunch of good episodes. Now, I'm guessing that most of you watching this video probably already know about Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. And if you're already subscribed, then, well, you, you've probably watched this show a couple times. And I'm gonna say Thomas and Friends might be one of the best kid shows ever made. And uh, it's a very, very good show with a bunch of good episodes. But it also has some stinkers that are really, really bad. And today in this video, I'm going to be going over the worst Thomas and Friends episodes in each season. I will only be going over one episode from each season, which I think is the worst of that season. And disclaimer, this is all just my opinion. So, well, you have the right to get mad. I'm not going to say that you can't get mad, but uh, I want you to remember this is just my opinion and not facts. I can guarantee that some of the episodes on this list might get a bullet pointed at my head. Then again, I'm very good at dodging bullets, so I don't think that will do much. First of all, what makes a good episode? Well, let's take an episode like Escape. It has amazing visuals and great music, so that's something that can make a good episode, visuals and music. Now let's take an episode like Gordon and Spencer, that's a really good episode because it adds something new to Gordon's character, so there's another thing, adding something new to already existing characters. So we already know kinda what makes a good episode, but now let's get into the bad episodes. I do really like season 1, it's not like in my top 5 seasons, but it's still a season that I respect a bunch, and I wouldn't say any of these episodes are bad, but it does have an episode that, that I would consider the worst episode, and that would be Thomas's train. This episode is about Thomas really wanting to pull a train out of the yards, and after Henry is sick he gets the opportunity but accidentally leaves all of his coaches behind. Now, the main problem with this episode, in my opinion, is not actually in the original source material. So, in the book Thomas the Tank Engine, in the same story, Thomas' train, Thomas leaves his coaches behind but only goes like a couple meters or something until he gets to the signal and has to back, back to his train. So, you know, it, it's understandable. But in the TV show, he goes a couple miles before realizing that he's left the coaches behind. Uh, and uh, one other thing, I know that's, that this has become a meme in the fandom. Uh, how does Thomas look b behind? Like, how does he do that? How does the vision of an engine work? Because I can guarantee that there is no real life explanation for how he can look behind himself. So, Thomas's train is definitely the worst episode of season one, at least in my opinion. Now we're on to season 2, which is one of my favorite seasons, and um, it, it was kind of hard to pick this one. I really wanted to choose Better Late Than Never, but I actually kind of liked that episode, so I decided to go with Thomas and Trevor for the worst episode of the season. Because I just don't like it. I, I, I can't really explain it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that I personally don't like this episode or care for it it's in my opinion a very boring episode like what happens in this episode thomas says that trevor isn't an engine and that he isn't useful and then trevor proves him wrong in a couple clips and and then trevor's sad like this this works better as like an annual story not a full-on episode like this episode is just boring and I don't care for it. On, on, on to the next season. Season 3 is by far my favorite Thomas season. And it was very hard to figure out what was the worst episode of this season. All of the episodes are great in their own way. But there was one episode that I thought didn't really live up to the standards of season 3 and that was Percy James and the Fruitful Day and I still really like this episode so saying that this is the worst episode of season 3 and me still liking it says a lot about season 3 and its standards but 
the only reason I, that I don't like this episode as much as the other episodes is because I just don't feel like the concept of this episode is so inspiring. James is rude to X engine and then James gets a comeuppance. It's very similar to Dirty Objects. Although I do really really like that Percy also ends up just crashing. <laughs> yeah, I just thought that was funny like James treated Percy like shit. Then you were like expecting Percy to like save the day but then he just crashes himself like whoa. Although I have to say the moral of this episode is, is very weak like Thomas I get that you're trying to like create a moral there's no moral in this episode this is just a day in the life of Percy and James so far in this list uh, season 4 was by far the easiest to find the worst episode of and this is the point where bullets are going to be pointed at my head but I think Rusty to the Rescue is the worst episode of season 4 now listen it has beautiful visuals and great music and brilliant sets but the way that they handled Stephanie in the TV show is terrible and I blame this episode for it. Britt Allcroft, I respect you a ton but making Stephanie a Sodor engine was by far one of your worst choices. W well, behind Magic Railroad, that, that is. Anyway, so in the TV show can Stephanie is a Sodor engine and that ruins some part of the charm for Stephanie. He's supposed to be this preserved engine on the Bluebell Railway and the whole point of him coming to Sodor was to promote the Bluebell Railway. But now in the TV show it's just, oh, he wants to come to Sodor because he bored. Really? Are you that tired of your line already? You were literally just in a scrapyard and are you already complaining about your lineup being long enough. I, I, I get that some of these complaints are also coming from me and Thomas and Stephanie, but I blame those on Rusty to the Rescue. If Rusty to the Rescue didn't exist, then I wouldn't be complaining about the opening to Thomas and Stephanie, so Rusty to the Rescue is the worst episode of the season four. Fight me, and I will win. I, I think it goes without saying that I love season five. It's a brilliant season. It has so many action-packed episodes, and you'd think that there's like no bad episodes in this season, but Gordon and the Gremlin exists, that's a pretty bad episode, but I didn't put it on this list. Gordon and the Gremlin is bad for other reasons, but there's one episode that I hate with a burning passion that I don't think anyone else in this fandom hates as much as me, and that is Thomas and the Rumors, simply because of its awful title. Now, I get it's kind of weird to hate an episode just because of a title, but why is Thomas in the title? This is more of a Gordon episode, and doesn't Gordon have enough episodes in this season? Like, whoa, he almost has more episodes than Percy in this season, and that's saying a lot. But the fact that Thomas is in the title of this episode pisses me off, because, to be honest, there's no standalone Thomas episode in season 5. The closest thing we got is Thomas Percy and Old Slow Coach, but there he shares the role with Percy. But the fact that they had to shoehorn Thomas into this title when it could be simply called Don't Listen to Rumors or something better. I, I just hate this episode with a burning passion and I don't care how good the story is in this episode, the title ruins it all. You can get annoyed that I'm hating on an episode just because of a shit title, but I just don't like this episode. And that's from passion, not from facts. Hey, hey y'all, it's uh, ed Editor Films here. I would just like to clarify that while I think that the Thomas and the Rumors is the worst episode of season 5, uh, it, it is not a bad episode. Uh, season 5 is a great season. It, it's just that I personally think that the title drags it down that, that much that I think it's the worst one of that season. That does not mean it's still a bad episode. It, it just means it's the worst of that season. I would just like to clarify that because I was re-watching the recording and the video that I edited for that. And I realized that I didn't make my point really clear. So I wanted to just clarify that right now. 
Season 6! And here's another obvious one, it's Middle Engine. Okay, so let's just begin with uh, some obvious facts. Uh, Alec Baldwin's narration. It sucks. Like, really, man? You did such a good job in Season 5. Uh, who cares? We got Michael Angelus anyway. He's the best narrator. Fight me on that. Hit. But anyway, uh, Ari and Bert, I don't like that nothing bad happens to them. Like, they cause havoc on the railway. And really, you're just gonna let them do it? Like, really? You're letting Arya and Bird get away with literally causing trouble for the other engines? Like, that's straight up bullying. It's a strange message to the show. Because in the end, we just, in this episode, we go on hating on James. But, like, we should really be hating on Arya and Bird. Like, these are literal bullies and they're ruining the lives of the other engines and they don't get punished. This is literally like every school in America. Also, the fat controller sucks. Why is he blaming Percy for something that wasn't his fault? Also, speaking of that accident with Percy, who controls the tipper's loading ramp? I is everyone on Solar drunk? Or, or does literally everyone get a concussion every time an accident happens? I, I mean, I guess that would make sense and explain why everyone is brain dead on the island, but uh, yeah, I don't like this episode and I think many people can agree with me on that. Um, I do like how it looks, the visuals are nice, I know that's saying much for the season 6 episode, but uh, I never had a problem with the visuals in season 6, I always thought it was kind of charming, but uh, yeah, this episode sucks. And now we come to the final season of the classic series, season 7, and... I was struggling with this one because there were two episodes that I didn't really like. And I, those are the two obvious ones. And those are The Old Bridge and Renee's and the Roller Coaster. Now, I'm going to be giving the worst episode title to Renee's and the Roller Coaster. Even though The Old Bridge did portray Scarlowy way worse than Renee's and the Roller Coaster portrayed Renee's. But. The old bridge has visuals on its side. Well, Renee's and the roller coaster tries to be an exciting action packed roller coaster, but it ends up being just a boring episode. And the worst thing a Thomas episode can be is boring. And trust me, we're gonna get a lot of boring episodes later, so just uh, strap on. <laughs> And now we are on the first hit era season with season 8. And uh, this is probably one of the quickest ones I thought of. And uh, I'm going to be giving the worst episode slot to Chickens to School. This episode does not make any sense to me. Thomas is a steam engine. And he can't even do his one job. Like, you really, top, you should send him to the scrapyard. And the thing that really shocks me is that he sends chickens to a school. He does also do a lot of other stupid things in this episode, but not, that's the one that I like. Hmm. So you're telling me that all the teachers did not even care that their students looked like chickens? Like, really, are everyone on Soder brain dead? Also, Thomas has a crew that are literally driving him. Um... Are you telling me that they couldn't even do their one job? Everyone on Sodor is brain dead. Like, what? And now we're on to season 9. My favorite hit era season. And uh, now it's another obvious one. And I have to give the worst episode to Scarlowy the Brave. The bastardization of Scarlowy's character technically started in season 7. But he's way worse in this episode and he just acts reckless. And the worst part is I think this episode could have worked in like the old days when Scarlowy and Renee were younger. But sadly it isn't that and the writers weren't smart and they just wrote it as present day. And it ruins Scarlowy's character and it just sucks. Although it has very good visuals and great music in my opinion. But the the concept of this story worked, but in execution, 
no, th- th- this episode sucks. On, on to the next season. In my opinion, season 10 is my least favorite hit season. It has some good episodes, but it, it has a bunch of bad episodes. Now, many of you would expect me to say an episode like Edward Strikes Out, but it does actually have some redeeming qualities, like adding Rocky into the series. I don't like how Edward's portrayed in that episode, but I, I like Rocky, so that's something. But I think there's one episode that's worse than Edward Strikes Out, and that is Thomas's Frosty Friend. This episode is so boring. It's about Thomas getting a, a giant snowman balloon coupled to his buffers, and he thinks the snowman is alive. And listen, I I like Thomas being naive and all, but this is to another level. This episode sucks, and it's not even the free strikes formula. It's five strikes. It takes five times for Thomas to realize his mistake. Like, what, you had to really pad out the time so much that you had to make him do five mistakes instead of the normal three? Th- this episode sucks, it's so boring. It doesn't even have the visuals to back it up, because we've already seen this before in season 9 and 8, so... Yeah, this episode sucks, it's way worse than Edward Strikes Out. For season 11, I'm, I'm gonna give the worst episode titled to Thomas and the Big Bang. Just because almost every character in this episode is stupid. Like, Thomas, why are you causing all this confusion and delay? I know I just said the line that the fat controller said, but it, it's true. Thomas is so stupid in this episode and the narrow gauge engines are portrayed very badly. Like, Scar Lowy... It's, it's the same problem with Renee's and the roller coaster and Scarlet over the Brave, where they just act reckless. And this is not the characters that I and many others grew up with. This is not the same Scarlet and Renee's from Four Little Engines or Very Old Engines. These, these are different characters, and to be honest, I don't like them. Speaking of Scarlowe and Renee's, here's another obvious one. For season 12, I'm giving the worst pick to push me, pull you. I think this is a very obvious one that many people can agree with. And Scarlowe and Renee's, they just act very, very childish in this episode. They're like little four year olds that can't really get along. They're like, they're kind of like brothers, but not the brothers I like. And just. Just watch Tank Engine John John's video on this episode and uh, you'll understand. Although I wouldn't call this the worst episode of the entire show. As at least it has good visuals, like anything from the hit era trumps the entirety of the CGI era because just of the visuals alone. That's the hill I'll die on. But yeah, this episode sucks. Now we're on to the first CGI season, season 13, and I didn't even watch all the episodes for this video, I was too tired. But from the ones I watched, I I, I thought Thomas and the Pigs was the least interesting. This episode is just boring and I, I don't care, I don't care about Farmer Trotter, I don't care about his stupid pigs. This episode is just boring. Listen man, I don't know how much longer I can take this. Watching season 14 is a real pain. Anyway, luckily I didn't have to watch too much because uh, the worst episode of the season is Thomas's tall friend. In that, in this is just my opinion. You can disagree all you want, but having a 
giraffe be carried by train in an open wagon? It, it, it's, it's just so stupid. And like, Thomas, you, you know the route to, to the zoo. Why are you going on a branch line? Like, really, with this tiny ass bridge? Why was he delivered by rail? Like, what did the giraffe do to, to deserve this? Please, why did that giraffe get sent to hell that fast? Like, really? You know what? I just feel bad for every character in this era. So, I recently listened back to the old recording of when I was talking about the worst episode of the season 1. My enthusiasm is gone man, these, these later seasons has drained my energy. Having to watch season 15 and 14, it, it takes a lot. Anyway, for season 15, I know a lot of people will say wonky whistle, and I 100% agree, that episode is god awful. It, it sucks and Thomas is very stupid, but you want to know what's worse than having one character be stupid? Having an episode about two characters being stupid and Mr. Bubbles in it. And that's right, I'm saying that the worst episode of season 15 is up, up and away. Do I even have to explain myself? Why are they carrying an, a blown up balloon on a flatbed? Like, why didn't you just wait blowing it up until you got to the party? Gee, Mr. Bubble sure is stupid. First Slippy Soda, and now this. God. I hope his insurance is big. Because he's gonna need it. Anyway, uh, I don't like Percy in this episode. Percy feels very out of character in this episode. I would understand if Thomas was in Percy's role being a little bossy. But Percy? Really? Percy, when did you get bossy and all? And... It, it was around 2011 that Thomas and Percy's friendship really began uh, marketing around. And it shows in this episode as... I don't understand, why did they choose Thomas and Percy for this role? Like, I get it's for marketing, but I just don't like this episode. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to take a mental break from watching these CGI seasons. I'm, I'm genuinely very tired right now. So I recently got back from therapy, we had to speak about these later seasons as they've been draining my mental state and uh, I, I think all my friends are now leaving me because I just keep on watching this. Even though everyone knows that it's not good for your mental health, I still do it. I have a bunch of people questioning why I do it, but you know, the answer is always, it's for a video, and then they leave. Anyway, season 16, um, oh, oh, oh no, Ho Ho Snowman is about Charlie tricking Henry into thinking that a snowman is alive. I hate Charlie, he's such a stupid annoying character, he's worse than Billy. I hate Charlie, I want to punch him in his stupid annoying little face. I also don't like Henry in this episode, Henry, it's a snowman, you stupid you stupid bitch! Like, w w w what? You think a snowman can talk? Like, like, listen. I get it's a little hard to believe that trains can talk, but I draw the line at the snowman. Like, really, Henry? Are you that stupid? You little piece of shit! Now we're on to season seventeen. Finally, an actual good CGI season. I oh, oh it, it's it's Charlie again. It's Charlie. I... Listen, Charlie is kinda redeemable in this episode. I mean, everybody hating on him, thinking that he's just telling jokes, but in reality, he's actually telling something that's actually very serious, like an elephant running away. Why, why is there a zoo on the island of Sodor? It's such a pointless addition, and it's just there for marketing. Like, Listen, I get that many people question an, an ice cream factory or a toy factory, but listen, those are actual factories that produce products that would make sense for an engine to take. A zoo? 
especially right next to the railway. That does not make any sense. And I, listen, I don't blame this episode for it, but it's in this episode. So I'm, I'm gonna take points for it. Uh, Charlie, I know he's not supposed to be annoying. He's very annoying in this episode, even though he actually has some redeeming qualities. Like, actually taking something seriously for once. I still hate him. A little less, but I still hate him. Season 18 might have more flaws than 17, but the highs of 18 is way better than 17. So I do kind of prefer 18 over 17. But when it comes to Henry, the CGI series hates Henry, and the, the flatbed of... Blah. Uh, sorry about that, but the flatbeds of fear really does a disservice to Henry's character that was so prominent in the later multi series. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Sorry about that. I'm still recovering from the Miller era. Anyway, uh, Henry's character in the classic and to the hit era, to, to some extent, was pretty good. A gentle giant who liked the forest and sometimes was very rude if you got on his bad side. But here is just a coward. Go watch the Unlucky Tugs video on Henry, it's a very good video. And yeah, I 100% agree with his statement that Henry is very badly portrayed in the CGI era. And trust me, this is not the last time we're going to be talking about Henry in the CGI era. Hey you all, it's your favorite good old buddy pal pal, Editor Films here. And uh, I was editing the season 19 part and uh, I uh, ed ed and put it on the timeline. For some reason, it has this like glitchy effect, or like it's just a still image for some reason. I don't know why, but but it's like it's it's kind of glitchy and it doesn't make any sense. Like every other part works, e e except this one, and that's very really, really annoying. Uh, I don't know how to fix this, but uh, it's just gonna have to stay like this. I I'm sorry. <laughs> Henry spots trouble. This episode sucks. It's way worse than the flatbeds of fear because it's it's kind of reasonable. But Henry, you're a steam engine. You can't get chicken pots. Henry, please go to therapy right right now. Talk about your problems. And, and another thing about this episode, how is it that when Diesel blows smoke in, in Paxton's face, that only small spots get on Paxton, washing his entire face? I mean, that was a lot of smoke, so I'd, I'd expect some more on his face, but you know, that's fine. Also, Gordon, why shouldn't his entire face should be covered in paint? Not just small particles appear on his face. Like, that was a bunch of paint. Like, this makes no sense. This episode sucks. Anyway, I, I need something better to watch. Season 20 is by far the best CGI era season, but it still has some stinkers in it. And in my opinion, the worst episode is Diesel and the Ducklings. Now, I find this episode weird, as it's the worst episode of this season, but I don't hate it. Because I think it adds something cool to Diesel's character, depending on when this takes place, of course. Now, I prefer Diesel like he was in the classic series, being a devious engine, but this episode is not about that Diesel, this is about the CGI Diesel. So, I kind of like it in some form of weird way. Like, I can't explain it. Like, if Thomas was swapped for Duck, I think it would make a little bit more sense. But, the fact that Diesel cares about little ducklings, which would have been funny if Duck was the main role, I will admit, it's kind of cute, I guess. It's not my cup of tea, but I can understand if anyone likes this episode. It says a lot if this is the worst episode of season 20. Man, man season 20 is such a good season. <music> season 
season 21 is personally my favorite CGI era season, but I think it's pretty obvious what's the worst episode in this season. And I'm giving that title to A Shed for Edward. I like that it continues the story of uh, the fastest red engine on Sodor, but I don't really much like that episode either, so that doesn't say much. But A Shed for Edward doesn't make any sense. Why would Philip sleep at Wellsworth? Also, Edward wouldn't abandon his friends like that. They need him. Like, who's going to push Gordon up the hill now? I mean, I guess he's still at Wellsworth, but, but still, doesn't its branch line start at Knapford? Also, uh, the bouncing. And this is not exclusive to that episode, but it's very annoying. I don't like the engines gesturing like that. It's weird. Well, here we are. Here's the season, which contains the episode that I consider to be the worst episode of the entire show. Forever and ever. Now, if you're not a fan of the show, this episode doesn't seem so bad. It's about accepting change, and that's a very good moral. But it's the way that they told the moral in this episode that makes me hate it so much. This is the episode where they write out Henry of the Steam Team, and it's in one line of dialogue. Like, really? You couldn't have given one of the first characters created for the Railway series a proper ending? You could have adapted Super Rescue or something, instead you wrote him off in one line of dialogue. And Gordon is not treated well in the Big World Big Adventures era. Uh, trust me, there's at least one more episode with him in this era that I hate. But Gordon represents us as the fan base. Gordon represents us, Thomas fans. And we do not like that they write out Edward and Henry. This could have been a great way to display Edward's character to explain to Gordon that it's okay to have changes happen. Instead, they have Nia. Nia, the one that replaced Edward, explain that this is all okay. That That's just wrong. This episode is just such a kick in the balls to the fans. It's basically telling us, the fans, that you need to accept change and there's nothing you can do with it. And that's... That sucks. And what pains me even more is that this episode was written by Andrew Brenner. One of his only com contributions to the Big World Big Adventures era. Listen, Andrew, I respect all of your work, but not this one. For season 24, I'm gonna have to go with Gordon and the Giggles. But no, what, what, what? For season 24, I'm gonna go with Gordon Gets the Giggles. Wow, wow. Gordon did not have a good run in the Bob Wire era. A anyway, this episode, I think is the worst episode because of the bastardization of Gordon's character here. It really sucks. He used to be this grand and big engine, now he's just this little child. I don't like him. Okay, I'm just gonna say this. For these later Big World Big Adventures uh, seasons, it's really hard to get footage for them. I don't know why. Uh, probably because they're not easily available, or, or it's because of Mattel's takedown of many of the episode re-uploads on YouTube. But, but, but anyway, for season 24, I'm gonna go with Emily's best friend. I can't really describe it in words, but Emily just feels very out of character in this episode. Like, she wanting a best friend, like... The, the, she lives at Tidmouth Sheds. Aren't all of the engines there her friends? I, I mean, I guess she wants a best friend, but I just, I just don't see, I just don't see Emily wanting a best friend as something that she would actually want. This is the last season, so probably the writers just ran out of ideas. There are two Emily episodes in this season, so they really wanted to give her some focus, but. The other one, Emily to the Rescue, feels a little bit more in character, but this one, nah, I ain't feeling it. Uh, the fantasy sequence, while it's kind of cute, uh, I, I cringe when I watch that fantasy sequence with Edward and Emily. 
Also, why would Emily want to be Edward's best friend? That's kind of weird. And yeah, that was my list of what I consider to be the worst Thomas and Friends episode from each season. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to like and subscribe. And if YouTube isn't a bitch, then they'll probably allow comments. So if you see the comment section open, please leave a comment to tell me what I can do better for the next video. Now, if you wonder what I consider be to be the worst of the worst, I think Forever and Ever is the worst Thomas and Friends episode overall. And the best of the worst is probably Percy James and the Fruitful Day. And yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye. Also, no, I won't be covering All Engines Go.